Today we're going to be talking about this pen. This was quite eagerly anticipated. We have here the Navalur Eclipse. And this is a, uh, a retractable nib pen. Sorry, I, it's a little... Uh, you really have to... The whole body moves, so I was pushing the wrong way. Anyway, retractable nib pen. There are a lot of those out now. It started with the Pilot Vanishing Point, and then we got the Curidas, and we have various different retractable nib options now. Uh, it's really not my thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that straight away. It has nothing to do with the pens. It's just that I don't really see the use for them, but, but, but that's just my opinion. It's an interesting pen. We're going to talk about the parts. I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Navalure Eclipse. Let's look at the box, which confused me, I will say. It confused me a bit. Here is a cardboard outer sleeve and then here is the box. And um, I have a PhD, but I struggled because I thought this was somehow, this had to come off and I kept trying to grab it. but. You see, here's the line, isn't it? So you just kind of pull that off. Yeah, how was I supposed to know, people? Okay, uh, comes with a little Apple Boom sticker. Hashtag Boom, hashtag Apple Boom. Uh, cute little bed for the pen, the pen condom, and then here is the uh, QR code for manual. You know, I really like that. In the in the context of save the environment, why not? have a QR code. If you need the manual, you can grab it, you can get it, you can do whatever you need. Um, but if you say, you know, I think I can figure this out, it hasn't wasted any paper. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very serious. I think it's a great, great initiative. Here's the pen. I'm going to zoom in a bit to really show you. Black pen. I'm sorry, so it was a little difficult to light that so that you can see the details, but I'm uh, doing what I can. And here is what I was looking for the Pilot Metropolitan. Big pen, as you can see, the Navalure. So let's talk about it a little bit. Mine has an N, has a fine nib, but they also come in medium nibs. They're 99 euros at Applebaum. Remember, click the friend banner on my website, you get 10% discount. These are precision machine out of aluminum. Uh, the entire body forms the mechanism to operate the nib. I'll show you that in just a second. It has a 12-sided faceted design, a removable clip, uh, and they come in different colors, gold, obsidian, and iridium, uh, and each has two trims. So this is the obsidian with a uh, silver trim. And um, cartridge converter filled pen, and that's pretty much all that's to it. Let's look at the parts of the pen. And oops, I'm sorry for that noise. And then I'll do a writing sample. I'm just putting out my notebook. Okay, so large pen, girthy pen, big pen, and it operates the whole body slides in on itself, which which is kind of kind of cool. Um, but I'll come back to that in likes and dislikes because I have had some issues with it. Clip. Nice and, and springy, nice key slope that works well for pen cases and pockets typically. You can pull it off, but as you just saw, it's not easy. I'm trying to not damage anything, so I'm going to leave it on. Um, what else? Mechanism. I don't know how well you can see that, but let me try to operate it. See things fold away a bit. Yeah, new desk light. Great, isn't it? You can actually see the details of the pen for once. Hold it. Oh, now the, sorry, the clip moved a bit. There we go. A nib that's very reminiscent of the Pilot Vanishing Point shape. And this is in no way an accusation or anything. I'm just saying it, it reminds me a lot of that nib. Uh, we have this knob at the end. I'm just going to engage that to show you how you operate this pen. So this part unscrews. The whole part comes off and then out, right? So here we have section out there slides a nib unit. Again, also kind of reminiscent of um, Pilot Vanishing Point uh, with a, um, a very sailor-esque converter, I found. Um, 
I'm, I'm just saying again this is not meant as a criticism anyway it just I just notes that uh, so there we go again nib very much like slide on very much like a with a vanishing point vanishing point sorry be mindful of this part um, there is a spring in there there you go uh, that first time I did this it just it just fell out not not a big deal but if you know it's there that that helps okay we can reassemble this slips back in there uh, and there is this metal sorry was on camera there's this metal ridge to make sure that you align the nib uh, properly into the pen then this end slides on there make sure that you align obviously these these metal parts kind of put it hold it close that's what i found to work best and start screwing that end knob and then everything should be okay but you really need to make sure you're engaging that mechanism as you can see like i have been fiddling with this it's not super easy there we go done nib in out okay let's do a writing sample here we have Navalure Eclipse this is the fine nib and this is uh, Ackermann Delft's blow. Well, that barely fit, but there we are. Very nice, very smooth writer. Let's do a very quick one. Feed keeps up pretty well. You can see it's starting to get a little drier, but I mean, who writes that, that fast? Not too dry, not too wet. The Delft Blau is on the drier side of things, so pretty well tuned. Um, round nib. No natural line variation. As always, very careful. It's not a flex nib. It's not particularly springy either, I found. Reverse writing, for those of you who enjoy such a thing. It's the clip gets in the way. But you can do it, it's not scratchy. You may have to rotate the clip, advantage of a rotating clip. And you definitely take this from a good fine, so it's an extra fine. So if you really like that kind of stuff, uh, to have a finer nib at hand, terrible calligraphy here, but there we are. Uh, this might be a good option for you. Okay, so 99 euros. Let's discuss some likes and dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about the Navalure Eclipse? Well, there are a couple of things to like. First of all, the nib. Uh, I will say I find it very comfortable. It's a very pleasant writer, nice and smooth, nice wetness without being excessively wet. Um, I, I really think that is quite nice so very pleasant writer and at the end of the day that you that's what you buy a pen for so i mean i think that's great i also like that it's easy to fill uh, there was no fiddling with how to open this up uh, without trying to read any manuals i was able to take it out of the box open it up dunk it in ink get it filled so that's that's great a uh, cartridge converter works nicely uh, that's that's great i haven't had enormous issues with this drying out um, so that is definitely a, a, a plus two and I think the price is is decent 99 euros that's that's uh, uh, not cheap um, but I mean you do get an, a very nice writer for it uh, I also really like that you can customize it and what I mean by that is you can take the clip off if you have used sound pens for a while you may remember that there was the old model pilot vanishing point aka pilot capless uh, and then there was the new model pilot vanishing point and the new model vanishing point which is what you would buy in the shop today 
uh, just had a slightly different section, different placement of the clip, and some people just didn't like how that was placed. I really like that this pen offers you the option of taking the clip off. If it is not for you, if it is not working for you, you can take it off. It's not incredibly easy, um, but it, it, it can definitely be done. So, I mean, that's, that is kind of nice. Things I don't like so much. I find it remarkably uncomfortable, and that's really just me. Um, I, I have tried a lot of different uh, ways of holding it, and um, for me, really, holding it here on the barrel, where I would naturally want to hold it, given the shape and size of my hands, it's very uncomfortable because these ridges are quite profound, are quite sharp, not to the point of you'll cut yourself on them sharp, but they, they dig into your skin. Um, I don't find that comfortable at all. Now, when I move my fingers down a bit, I can't, this, this conical bit, I can't hold the pen there because then it's too close to the nib and I'm, I'm too close to the paper that, that doesn't work for my writing. There is the option of trying to put your fingers right on that chrome, uh, chrome colored at least, uh, ring where the, um, uh, the clip is attached to the pen. That is the best option for me, but even then, as you can see, my finger, my thumb, for example, is it's not fully on that metal ring. It's also on those ridges again. So that I don't particularly like. As with the Lamy, Lamy Dialog 3, uh, another retractable nib pen, that one has a twist mechanism, not a, a push mechanism. This pen is a baseball bat. It's very huge and it's, it's quite featureless. I don't find that particularly comfortable. I like a larger pen, but this seems baseball bat slightly unpleasant to me, even for, for larger hands. Um, it's really quite girthy. As you can see, my, my fingers are not really touching each other as I hold it. Um, and I don't find that very comfortable. Same thing, same issue I had with the Lamy Dialog 3. Finally, it looks really cool, this, this stuff with the entire body just folds in on itself. I like the way it looks. I don't find it very practical because when I hold this pen here and I try to operate it single-handedly, it's not very easy because the whole body slides in on itself. So for me, the point of a retractable nib pen is that you can operate it single-handedly. The easiest way to operate this single-handedly is like this. And now it works. I don't find that particularly user-friendly or comfortable. Um, so th there are ways, I mean, there are ways to do it. You can sort of wrap your lower fingers around the section area quite loosely. And then if your hand is big enough, you can operate it this way. But anything like this, it, it's, you see things start to slide. It doesn't work very well. Now, perhaps it wasn't designed that way. Maybe it was designed to be a two-handed pen. Uh, which, I mean, I have no issues with, um, but, but, but then I wonder, like, what, what, is, what is the advantage of the retractable nib? So, by no means do I try to be particularly negative. I, I think it's a fantastic writer. I love the nib. It's beautiful. It, it writes consistently, wonderfully, smoothly. I love all that, but the design is not for me. This is not something I would purchase. And there we have it. So... If you have one, let me know how you like it. It's always interesting to read. Let me know if your pen has dried out because it's good for people to see different uh, viewpoints. Maybe other people have different experiences. Um, I'll now go take a time off my headache. <clears throat> and um, that's all there's to it. A very kind thank you to Joost Appelboom for lending me this pen. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye.